uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very uh, interesting interview question uh, it can be asked for a precious level analog engineer okay so this is open based circuit and we have to find what is the output impedance from here from this node so it is v out and the v in is applied here and we have to find the what is the input impedance looking from this node and the op amp is ideal okay so it is ideal op amp with respect to everything so the band do it gain and everything okay all perspective the op amp is ideal so how to solve that so you know to find any impedance uh, for a node with respect to ground what we do we apply test voltage there vt and find what is the current coming out of that node and we take rx or rt is nothing but uh, vt by it you already know okay and there is another way so to find that so you can apply a current there and find what is the voltage across it right correct so you can apply i test and find what is the okay so it is the i test and what is the voltage coming across it then your rt again be uh, vt over it so it is your general rules now let's solve it okay and we are not going to apply everything here so let's solve intuitively how much we can see so basically it is a very uh, well known negative feedback circuit you know right so whenever you have a negative feedback circuit your uh, like uh, your calculations and the understanding becomes so easy okay so because you can see directly some part so, okay so, so directly the output part is coming back to the negative terminal so it is definitely be a negative circuit negative feedback circuit okay and the op amp is ideal so you can directly use directly we can use virtual short concept okay so what is the virtual short virtual short concept says that if it is a negative feedback and op amp is ideal so these two nodes v positive and v negative is same so now it is delivered to, to the ground so this node must be ground okay so now your uh, equation becomes very simple okay so this node is ground so i am drawing the picture again So it is RF, R, R O. Let's say this is R L, this is R one, and this is R two. See, if this is ground, this node is ground. So R two is actually your dead element. Okay, it is putting nothing to the circuit. Okay, and we, you are seeing the what is the input impedance from this node, right? So you can see we we need to check what is the impedance from this node to ground. So I can see only this R one is present from this node to ground. So yes, definitely. Your R in must be equal to R. Okay, and you can do the V test and I test. You can get the same thing. Okay, now the fun is what about the R out? Okay, what about the R out? So intuitively, if you see that, so if this is node is ground, right? This is ground. Okay, and so if if you do that, so you this thing will be deactivated again, right? When you are applying the voltage here, right? So your independent so, uh, sources must be deactivated. Okay, I forget to mention in that previous like uh, sometime before ago, like sometimes ago. But yeah, so your independent sources will be deactivated. So it will be deactivated and it will be connected to the ground. So you can see there is no current can flow through this direction. Okay, so and no current can go through the op amp input terminal as well. So no current can go flow from RF as well. Okay, so now if no current is flowing here, so what will be the voltage of here? So it will be zero volt. So now, if this voltage is zero volt, this voltage must be zero volt, right? Now, what do you think? What will be the equivalent resistance here? So ultimately, this node actually becomes ground, okay? So what will be the equivalent resistance? So it should be zero, okay? Zero ohm. Now let's solve uh, with applying some voltage and currents, okay? So it is intuitively it will be zero, okay? Like it is ground and it is ground, okay? So ultimately, whatever. You are putting here and there, and again, so negative feedback is always valid, okay? Because whenever it is connected to the ground, but your circuit is in the negative feedback, right? Okay. Yeah. Or or or, or you can say that uh, so if this is uh, inactive, so this node must be to the grounded, okay? Because there is no voltage source, so no, no current, right? So it will be zero volt, okay? Yeah. So now let's solve with by using some Test voltage and test current. Okay. 
so let's apply test voltage and we have to find what is the i test okay so your independent source must be deactivated so it is nothing but this okay so ultimately this whole circuit becomes like this is this is ground and what about that node so if you apply some voltage here so some voltage will be coming here right so this is r1 rx and let's say this whole term is rx so your v minus will be nothing but rx into v test by rx plus rf correct now you can see you can see this circuit is always in the negative feedback like well known negative feedback right so now this node must be equal to zero because this is connected to the ground so now if this is zero so no current can go here because because there is no current from here and here right so this node voltage will goes to zero now let's say you are applying a deliberately voltage source vt some value and you are getting due to the strong negative feedback you are getting zero volt here so it is contradicting right so let's do another case okay so we can use again a current source here right this is it and we have to find what is the voltage at this node that's it so again what about the feedback of the circuit again it is a ideal op amp so it is a strong negative feedback right correct yeah it is strong negative feedback so it will be zero again this node voltage will zero because there is no current right it is zero and it is zero so no current can go there so no current can go there as well because it is a high impedance node and so no current will go in this direction as well so if this voltage is zero this voltage must be zero right and forget about this branch okay just just forget out so this branch is actually zero this node potential right right so now your it was a finite some some finite voltage and your vt is actually zero so but but a, a current source can have zero potential across it right ideal current source right yeah so now from here we can find so your vt over it is nothing but zero over it so it will be zero ohm, okay so this is there is no contradiction now okay so you can apply current here and measure the what is the voltage across it then you can find what is the output impedance okay so now these all the mathematical things here but there is always some intuition okay so i am giving some hints to you so let's assume when your gain is some finite 100 and your output impedance is zero okay so there will be some conditions right so now it is infinity and it is let's say some finite some let's say 10 ohm so you can make this four combination and then comment what about your r in and r out okay so this is your task so four combination i can write as follows so again it will be uh, so it will be uh, infinity it will be zero and it will be 100 it will be uh, 10 okay so these four condition you can apply uh, for this op amp okay so it is always there it is not the output impedance it is the deliberately we are putting but in this op amp you will have some internal input impedance, output impedance right yeah okay so this one use r out okay yeah so you can make this okay yeah. Thank you.